Jesus. But he can get you a job. He can work like everybody else. Okay. Well, would you choose one million pound or would you choose eternal life? is available to set people free even from demonic oppression. The blood of Jesus Christ is available to set people free from spiritual bondage. Jesus came and he took the chair for you. Because in the Garden of Eden, God said to Adam and Eve, any tree in the Garden of Eden you are free to eat, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the day you eat of it, you will surely die. <laughs> Satan came in and deceived Adam and Eve into thinking they could live their lives apart from God. They ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and immediately they died spiritually. They died in the spirit. Their conscience began to accuse them. They went and hid among the trees. God comes, he's calling Adam, Adam, where are you? Adam is hiding among the trees because he was afraid. That's humanity today. The reason why people avoid the cross of Jesus Christ is because of the guilt of sin. That's why people avoid to come to the cross of Jesus. That's why people avoid it. But Jesus took the chair for you. Jesus took the cross for you. The death that God said, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. Jesus died that death for you. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Son of God, and if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that God has risen him from the dead, and if you make a decision to follow Jesus and live after him, you will be saved. Saved from what? One will ask. Well, saved from eternal fires of hell. There are souls in hell right now as we speak. There are souls in heaven right now as we speak. The difference is whether you have a relationship with God as your loving Father through what Jesus Christ did on that cross. The only man you have to follow is Jesus because Jesus Christ will take you even into the afterlife. The only person to have ever risen from the dead is Jesus Christ. The only person who defeated the power of the grave is Jesus Christ. And you know and I know that humanity's number one problem is the fear of death. And here you have Jesus Christ conquering the grave on your behalf. The moment you put your faith in Jesus, you are crucified with him. The moment you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you are buried with him. The moment you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you are risen from the dead together with him. The resurrection of Jesus Christ was for you. When Jesus was risen from the dead, it was an act of God's kindness and God's love and he carried out that resurrection on your behalf. The resurrection of Jesus is the resurrection of humanity from spiritual death. So I pray for the blessing of God upon every family in Oldham. I pray for the peace of God upon every family in Oldham. I pray for the blessing of Abraham upon every, bless upon every family in Oldham. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon every family in Oldham for the peace of God to reign in the families of Oldham. I pray for those that need healing, that they'll find their healing in the blood of Jesus. Those that are looking for answers should find their answers in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord.